Welcome back to Minecraft Through the Night, Season 2, Sunshine. Winter Insomnia. Man, it's been a long winter, too. Here it is, the end of January. I love these windows, man. Do I collect thick and glass when I destroy it? Yes. Yes. It's beautiful. I don't know why that matters to me, but it does. Do a quick creeper check. Oh, potatoes. Like troll. Like. Oh man, it's an early morning after a long night of insomnia. <clears throat> Love me this lily pad. Want more of them. More, more lily pads. <clears throat> Run this. Um, was it plastic bag? Not the pulverizer. The furnace. Uh, turn it this in plastic. Oops. I keep getting confused when I see the. <clears throat> Tooltip. I don't know why, but it makes me want to uh, hit the escape button. Okay, so let's see. Recapping what's recent here, we now have two excellent picks: an iron silk touch pick and a diamond fortune two pick. We have a sharpness three diamond sword, power four bow. Uh, we're coming up in the world. We have um, armor, fully enchanted armor. Uh, respiration 3 helmet, protection 4 chest plate, blast protection 4 pants, and projectile protection 4 boots. Um, the thing I want to get done next is more of um, sort of a semi-aesthetic thing. Uh, although I love our island, I think it was a good idea to hole up here on this uh, easily defensible island. Um, I've been thinking about squid spawning, and, um, you know, it doesn't seem to be a problem in this particular seed, but squids can, can flat out cause some issues. I do want to go ahead <clears throat> And make some kind of a setup over there near the portal, uh, near our mega rubber sapling area. Mm, oops, it's not what I wanted. Here we go. The machinist workbench. I'm gonna grab some iron shovels and go um, <clears throat> do some iron work, shovel work. I need some torches before too long too. And beyond ironwork, um, I'm going to want to start a um, <clears throat> jailer safari net. Does that multiple use? I wonder. Oh man, that's right. We got that from that other uh, thing we did. Uh, the mystery net. Um, oh yeah, so I want to come over here and... Uh, hey! Welcome, chicken. Welcome, chicken. I want to come over here and uh, prepare a little ground. Oh, Drat, I, I'm afraid we've lost Fred and Alfred and Edwin to the RNG gods. Uh, Vein Miner. Vein Miner's going to help me out here. 
I want to flatten some of this grass. See how to do it. Um, vein miner mode. No snake. Okay. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Vein miner. <laughs> hey pig. Block list. Shovel. Add. Minecraft. Grass. Okay. Let's try this again. Should leave the dirt block untouched. Whoa. That's, that's pretty much what I wanted, except... I didn't want the extra block of grass. Yet. Wow, it just uses one shovel until it completely uses it up. That's okay. Ah, this old dog's got a lot of work to do today. Um, got a lot of school work to work on and uh, papers to look at. So why are you playing Minecraft, dog? Just because, man. You know why. You know exactly why. It's taking up a lot of fish. You're giving me a lot of dirt. Whoa, oh man. I should have <laughs> I should have undone all that before I oh man. Not what I meant to do. Hmm. Maybe I should embrace our mistakes. What do you think? If that's going to be ground level. Hmm. Oh, I'm out of show. <laughs> it keeps up. The levee's gone to break. The levee breaks. I have no place to stay. You ever watched <clears throat> Zeparello's version of that? They're pretty good. Zeparello. Four chicks playing Led Zeppelin. Pig. Pig, haven't got any carrots yet. That's one thing I want to get, carrots. Get you some carrot farming. Some breeding going. Think dog, think. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Go ahead and put the levee back in place. about great power you know great power and great responsibility whoa okay that will clear that out torch 
torch and a bed. Bed. Don't sleep on a pig, though. All right. Day one. Day one, diggy diggy. Hot diggity dog. I do. Or is it? Or is that just my stomach growling? Was that my stomach? Ah, I thought it was an Enderman. Just my stomach. I think I need this. If we build a base over here, we'll we'll open all this back up here eventually. Okay, that's um, pretty much all the shovels I got right now. Four shovels worth of digging. Oh, what dog? I wanted to do a little bit more diggy diggy, man. Go for it, dog. Doing some terrain flattenation. Go use up a few shovels here. A few stone shovels. Yeah, okay, well today is digging digging flattening. Digging and flattening. Throwing out some boots. Whoa. Well, my internet just dropped um, a few minutes ago. I was getting ready to play Minecraft through the night, and kaboom, no internet. I'm like, what the heck? Whoa. Uh. Hm. Crouch. Remember, crouch, dog. That's what I should do. I should change vein miner back to regular mode so that the only time it does the big vein mining is when I crouch. Finally, finally figured it out, huh? Yeah, 
Okay. Just patch this back in here. One thing I miss out of um, the uh, Thonecraft mod pack is the uh, wand focus that lets you uh, replace one block with another block. So awesome. You can control the area of effect and all that. It's my favorite thing. Probably my most favorite thing in Thomcraft. That would allow us to do something like um, instead of digging dirt and then replacing it with something, it allows us to uh, um, just simply replace it. Get out of the whole sheet. Move. Okay. I was watching a, um, a video about um, applied energistics from the Minecrafters last night. Uh, a channel that I really enjoy, the Mind Crafters, and I love AE2. But again, it's not in this mod. Okay. So if I want to do this, I can. Uh, if I want to sneak, boom. Sure, I'm not going to use that. Patch that back in. <clears throat> Vein miner, can I configure you to only take blocks at a certain height? I wish I could. Lacking that, the only thing I know to do is to get like this, get in kind of the middle of some stuff, middle of the area I want to do, and uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Old fashioned, new fashion. Well, today is a Wednesday. I'm coming to you. Um, did a lot of work yesterday, classwork, papers, grading, uh, response grading. Uh, got, um, for whatever reason, this new Comp 2 class I've got is kind of ticklish on understanding uh, what my the essays are supposed to be about. The essays and the essay prompt and... Uh, um, it's just an odd mix of um, quiet people who are good writers along with people who are um, really who need a lot of structure that I don't provide. I don't give them a canned essay prompt. Uh, I give them freedom to pick a prompt, but then they have to work it really hard. Uh, and not I, I don't like a traditional type essay prompt <clears throat> or traditional type of response a bunch of abstract generalizations those really suck i mean um, i had some students turn in some work that sounds like a seventh grader wrote it oh uh, peaches in love you know and, and bullshit like that you know and um and that's not good writing it's not good thinking it's not good writing it's very diffuse unfocused and um childish uh, and that surprises me <clears throat> surprises me because um, the students that I normally teach the uh, musicians are m much more creative than that um, they don't they prefer not having 
predefined structure, mostly. And uh, I'm just going to fill this back in. I may take it out later. I want a little bit more border here. Um, we all struggle without, you know, structure, without mommy and daddy telling us exactly what to do, you know. But um, as adults, we find ways to create the structures that we want. Uh, we find ways to be relentless in our pursuit of inquiry uh, into things we want to figure out, you know. And that's, uh, that's essentially what I'm trying to uh, practice these students in. Night two. I craft through the night. But, <clears throat> having said that, and good morning, sunshine. Having said that, it is a fair criticism that I am an unstructured kind of an instructor. I'm an unstructor, you might say. How much ground floor do I want here? Not a, not a whole bunch. I need to be able to control it better. This vein miner, in terms of working dirt, mm -hmm. uh, sand, uh, gravel, is sort of like a uh, powerful but unruly magic. You know? Hard to control it. For fine work, detailed work. I guess I'm going ahead and filling all this in. See where I'm at. Get a sense for this. Get a sense for the size of this thing. white stone, the more I look at it, the more unhappy I am with it. So it's not going to last. We'll uh, replace it soon, probably. Hmm. Well, sheep, here's one of the reasons I, I did all this, Mr. Sheep going to build a uh, couple of pastures here and move you guys into them. Sheeps and pigs. We'll get started with some uh, pasturing, breeding, grinding, maybe even a little slaughterhouse work, meat packing. to unleash the power of the uh, vein miner on this. Not after the patchwork we just went through. Um, yeah, I, I like to listen to my students. I like to empower my students. Um, but there's a bit of an art form to whom you empower and when. Um, uh, and that is an art form. It is, it's uh, something that you kind of just have to go with. You know, you kind of have to learn and roll with in the classroom. Uh, if you empower somebody who is a nuisance or a distraction in the class, that becomes a problem. When I talk about empowering a student, I guess what I mean is um, I, I take all my students seriously, uh, to begin with at least. Um, and um, considering what they have to say, you know, uh, and altering 
things based on understanding issues, cognitive issues they may have with an assignment. Um, you do that to the right students and it frees class into more of a uh, sort of a free-for-all mm, that's not the right word a freely charged discussion forum one in which uh, there's some uh, you know trust uh, I'm not out to make life miserable for them and and consequently, they work to make time in the classroom interesting and fun for me, too, with the things they bring up in discussion, the crazy things they bring up in discussion, uh, which I really enjoy. Um, and that works really well. But when I empower a student that doesn't really represent much of the rest of the class, that, that gets really ticklish. I guess I um, I start out the semester expecting everyone to be uh, mature individuals, and then mature individuals who want to do work, you know. And then as that, um, in some cases, as that sort of comes apart, uh, it's kind of hard to um, keep a fun aesthetic in the classroom while making it clear that, you know, I won't put up with crap, you know, not crap, but slackitudinal, slackitude. Um, slackitudinal work ethic. So, yeah, that, that's my struggle every semester is to establish that that happy medium between jumping the sheep, uh, a relaxed writing environment versus a uh, crip course. Um, Is that all? Man, we've got what? 1500 dirt now. 1100 sand. Nice. And some seeds. Let's drop these seeds off and watch the magic happen. Boom. Seeds gone. Oops. And four at a time. There they go. That's beautiful. We have how many pumpkins now? 24 pumpkins. Now they can use, be used for in ground lighting. Um, that's about the only thing I use pumpkins for, really. Jack-o'-lanterns. Okay, well, today was flattening, flatten the pancake day, pancake flattening day. Um, getting everything down at one level in terms of that terrain over there. What about... What about this? Let's make a let's go play on this little uh, hillside area. I'd like to enhance my visibility on either side here. Oops, there. And four. I haven't filled in this little cove because. I just like the cove. Oh, another book. Bane of Arthropods 4. I just want to throw that in the pond. But it's free. It was a free book. Even though it sucks. Ooh, an egg. Welcome chicken laid an egg. Oh, crouch. And... Crouch. And did I have dirt added? I did not have dirt. Let's do dirt. Um, 
thing miner block list show add minecraft dirt oh, wow holy moly that was weird why did it go straight down vein miner why you do that go back to just I'll let this uh, I'll let uh, the grass grow back and just go back and do this um, I think I'll remove dirt because I only want to strip out the surface layers here one by one a bit troubled by why I lost internet today AT and T's back up to their shenanigans. Shenanigating. All right, that's going to do it. We did some uh, flattening. The day of flattening. Go put up material. <laughs> Animal. We put up egg. Welcome, chicken egg. And we'll go sleep through the night. Thank you for joining me here in Minecraft through the night. Welcome, chicken. Stay up here, chicken. Come on, welcome. Stay, stay over here. Come on over. Oh well, chicken splashing. I'll see you guys next time. Winter insomnia continues.